Hi students, today we are going to discuss uh, on multiple integrals. Generally, what is an integration? An integration is an integration is two kinds. This is one is indefinite integration and another one is definite integration. Now, what is an indefinite integration? Indefinite integration is integral f of x dx. Here, it is f of x is a function in terms of x and we are going to do the integration with respect to the x. Clearly, f of x is a function in terms of x, we are going to do the integration with respect to the x. We do not know, uh, we are going to do the integration from, from uh, particular point to another particular point, whether it is or not, we do not know. Now, come to this definite integration integral a to b f of x dx. Here, we have to observe that the function is integrating from the lower bound to the upper bound. The lower bound is A, upper bound is B. Clearly, f of x is any curve. This is a curve f of x, where x is an independent variable. Now, we are going here in definite integration, we are going to do the integration uh, throughout the curve uh, with respect to the x. Whereas, definite integration, we are going to do the integration from a particular point A to another particular point B this is called a definite integration and moreover that uh, the integration of f of x dx and integral a to b f of x dx is a line integral because it is a single curve from particular part to the another particular part. Now, similarly we are going to this uh, multiple integrations, multiple integrations that means multiple integrations. Again, we are going to this multiple integration. Multiple means more than one, more than one. That is integral, integral f of x dx. Here we have to observe that here we are going to do with uh, double integration that means here similarly we have another variable also. In the previous section we have to do only the single integration that is why we have only the single independent variable. Whereas come to this here we are going to do the double integration so that uh, we have double variables that is two variables x and y similarly we have to do this dx dy whereas go to this triple integration double in integral 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 f of here cl clearly clearly we can easily understand that since here it is three integrals we have three variables that is x comma y comma z so that uh, three integrations uh, dx dy dz that is the multiple integration now, before going to this multiple integration, we are going to through the PPT, how it is calculated, the areas and values from particular part to the another particular part. Now, come to this. Now, the part A is a single integration. Part B is uh, a multiple integrals that is now come to this this is uh, when the region is given by a less than x less than b a less than x less than b that is the variable x having the lower limit a and upper limit b a and b are real numbers so the x varies in a constant interval. And now come to this, uh, y varies 
uh, from pi 1 of x to pi 2 of x that means that means the y is a variable value from pi 1 of x to the another pi 1 pi 2 pi 2 of x here we are clearly observe that what is it x is in between constant limits a and b whereas y is in between two variables two variables now we are going to what happens uh, this is integral double integral over r f of x y dx dy is equal to integral a to b integral of pi 1 of x to pi 2 of x f of x y dy dx why we are going to do this we have to observe through this figure that is generally the cartesian form that is x y axis now we have to observe the given it is uh, the given it is x values from a to b that is we are indicating x is equal to a line this is and x is equal to b line this is so x varies from between the two variables two constant variable values that is a and b now uh, the curve y varies from pi 1 of x to another value pi 2 of x that is both are curves that is variables that is why we are shown like this this is the pi 1 curve and this is the pi 2 curve so y varies from uh, pi 1 to pi 2 now the between the region I, I i want to find out the area between this region that is the shaded area yellow color shaded area now come to this uh, now we want to find out in this area we have to draw the strip uh, that is uh, that is uh, a line is there in between in the shaded area that is pi 1 of x to pi 2 of x why we are going to take the line uh, is parallel to the y axis is uh, y is varying y is varying so that we have to do first integration with respect to the varying first integration from pi 1 of x to pi 2 of x because the y is varying first integration with respect to the varying uh, variable and the second integration final integration is uh, with respect to the constant variable that must be known that is one of the most important content uh, in the multiple integrals now the next one is if suppose uh, uh, y is in between constant limits and x is in between variable limits y is uh, from a to b y is from a to b so that a and b are constants and whereas x from pi 1 of y to pi 2 of y that is x varies in between the two curves here we are going to do the integration the uh, before going to that uh, we have to observe that this is in cartesian form y is in between two constant variables that is x is equal to a and x is y is equal to y is equal to a and y is equal to b these two are constant limits whereas uh, x is in between two curves that is uh, this is the pi 1 of y and this is the pi 2 of y now we are going to find out the area in this region what is that region required region is uh, a shaded region yellow color shaded region is our required region we want to find out the area or um, multiple double integration of the given function is in between the uh, a region that is yellow colored shaded region now come to this uh, we are going to take the strip uh, from is parallel to the x axis why because uh, x is varying from pi 1 of y to pi 2 of y that is why we are going to take the uh, parallel to the x axis uh, that strip and uh, the integration is look like this the integration is look like this in double integral f of x y dx dy is equal to integral a to b first we have to observe that clearly here first integration with respect to the x whereas in previous first integration with respect to y here first integration with respect to x why because here in the first inter first model y varies from this curve to this curve that is why we are going to do with respect to the y in the second integration x varies from here this pi 1 of y to pi 2 of y that is where we are going to do with respect to x and then finally constant integration in both one is similar that is finally